ask me questions all the time, you know, so I just bought this book, I figured. Good. Well, anyway, no one bought the book, so I'm going to read you some stuff from this. <laughs> Alright, the first, um, the first and only review that I got for Chelsea Girls was in Time Magazine, which said that Warhol used a lot of freaks. There was no mention of acting, as my father pointed out. What was I going to say? We have uh, raised acting to its highest form, non-acting, you've heard of being and non-being, haven't you? But, uh, you see, I couldn't say these things to my logical but completely bourgeois father, because he might pull my allowance for making fun of it. I couldn't say Andy told me to do it. He never told anybody to do anything, especially in front of the camera. Rather, his direction created a void that people felt compelled, compelled to fill with the most utter and uncalled for amazing shit. But you don't tell your parents that either. What you say is, uh, Dad, it's bad acting. But you see, Dad, it's on purpose. It's like black comedy, you know, irreverent, ridiculous. Ridiculous was a good word, I should use that more often. Um, it's, it, it's camp, Dad. Camp? What's that, my mother asked. Uh, I'm not sure I can explain this one. Well, Mom, camp, you know, the natural progression of decadence. Decadence. The corners of her mouth quiver, her skin glows like a soft I forgot she hates everything that is connected to sex. Mom, calm down. I can explain. It's a technique, like breaking character. We do it all the time. The living theater does it. Actually, it's a violation of technique. The in tech violation. Okay, wrong word. Um, look, it's just for shock value, Mom. You know, the play, the brig, where the actors make the audience feel like they're in prison, and the like. You're not having sex, are you? My father cuts to the point. Dad, I squeal indignantly. How can you say that? I'm acting. Well, it doesn't say you're acting in Time Magazine. <laughs> <sighs> Look, um, there were a few mother, uh, there were a few other minor differences, Dad. I mean, uh, we had no score, no plot, no editing, no cuts, no directing, no acting. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, actually, we did have a score, but it was the unpopular Velvet Underground. The movies were, in the beginning, shown on the wall behind uh, everybody, sort of a multi-screen event, the exploding plastic inevitable, where the audience was encouraged to participate in dance in mass, and in general, get off or get as patient as possible while we supplied the ritual. Just uh, as an end or a beginning are not important in Warhol's films, nor is the plot. Um, on occasion, I mean, Ronnie Tavell did write a genius script. It was mostly ignored. But most of the time we used improvisation, which in the mouth of Andine was better than any script, right? My dad, doctor, is afraid of sex and death. How do you explain this to him? The two forces that he's afraid of, sex and death, he, rec he recognizes are way out of his control. He sees them in the woman he's fucking and in the patients he's lost. I'm taking drugs because I believe in forces, in movement. I want things to change. They say that only motion breaks the chain of logic, as when opposites join, like pleasure and pain, or freedom and restriction. Such a conjurer can uh, take you to the other side. <coughs> but how do you tell your parents you want to go there? And his greatest weapon was mute movement, erotic motion. And we climbed on it for the ride. My scene in Chelsea Girls features three girls on the bed. We aren't very sexy. In fact, I'm flat out cold and sadistic. So are the songs of the Velvets. So are the leather pants I wore. So was the whip dance I did with Gerard to accompany those songs. S and M, aggression and sacrifice, is the motion of opposites, and we were the lipstick virgin trendsetters. While colorful hippies, while colorful hippies went web in the West, were having three sex, we were their dark sisters in leather and bondage. We belonged to the future, to the punk fashion, which later shocked the ex hippie mothers who couldn't understand the staples in their children's faces. In spite of the gossip. 
I never saw Andy victimize or torture anybody beyond shooting them in an awkward fashion. People victimize themselves in their hurry to be stars. Being a star is something a boy is incapable of doing. Thank you.